Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new. Today we are in our master bedroom and I'm going to be decorating it for fall. Now our bedroom is one of the last places that I typically decorate for all of the different seasons. This is kind of my catch-all room. Any extra decor that I had that I didn't end up using in the main living area or kitchen, I usually will use in the bedroom. So I have a little group of things down on the floor that I'll show you guys that I'm going to be decorating with today, but I'm going to keep it very minimal. I do have this table over here that I like to style up a little bit extra during the holiday seasons. Normally, I just have a vase, my diffuser, and I do have a record player that I bring out, but I don't have any fall records, so I decided to go ahead and put it up for now, and I have something else in mind for that. I also have a fireplace in here that I'm going to be styling, and I did make a cozy little corner nook. If you missed my first bedroom decorate with me video I will link it down below after we moved in this is one of the last rooms that I did anything with so in that video I share actually styling it making it a little more finished and cozy so that'll give you a lot of ideas for just neutral cozy decorating but today we're decorating for fall and I'm so excited and the house is feeling so cozy, so warm. I just hosted a fall dinner party for my girlfriends and it was so much fun. So I'll be sharing a full fall tablescape as well as a simple everyday real lifestyle fall tablescape as well. So that'll be a video very soon as well as off of our master bedroom, we have our primary bathroom and I did recently decorate that as well and I put up a very, very, very very few things for fall. So I'll share that in an upcoming video as well. If you missed any of my other fall decorate with me's, I have a full fall 2023 playlist that I will link down below. We've decorated our living room, our entryway. I've made a couple of fun fall recipes. Our kitchen is all decorated as well with lots of just fall functional decor. I told you guys I would keep you updated on how I liked our cozy earth bedding and I've had it on our bed for about a week now and I absolutely love it. So we went with the bamboo sheet set and we also have the all seasons comforter insert with the bamboo duvet on top and it is so buttery soft. I cannot even tell you. At first the texture was kind of slick but after I washed them I feel like the texture really softened up and I feel like they're going to get better after every single wash. The all seasons comforter is perfect. We're hot sleepers so I don't want anything that's too too thick but I am going to show you how I make a cozy bed using my cozy earth bedding and I also went a little more simple with my pillows. I feel like I had like five different layers which looks very cozy but on a day-to-day -day basis isn't very practical. If you guys are looking for new bedding, I highly recommend Cozy Earth. Everything that I've had from them, their pajamas, their bedding, their sheets, everything has been the most amazing quality. It's so soft, so luxurious feeling, and I do have a discount code for you guys. If you use code KAYLIN35, you will get 35% off your entire order, which is such an amazing deal, and I will have the link down below so you guys can check everything out. Out. Thank you to Cozy Earth for sponsoring this portion of today's video, but let me show you how I put together our bedding real quick before I start decorating. First I put our sheets on and I tucked the edges in and then I just pulled back our comforter to about halfway in the bed and you can see this is a not super plush, but also not very thin. It has a good weight to it. Our regular pillows back here, these are the ones we actually sleep on with the Cozy Earth pillowcases. And then I have three Euro size pillowcases. I have two 18 by 18 pillows. They're kind of a velvet material. And then I have this smaller one that can either be plaid or it can be stripes and I just put that in the middle and then it kind of gives a nice layered effect and then at the end of the bed I always put a quilt of some kind. Before we get started I wanted to show you an overview of what our room looks like but here is the decor that I'm going to bring into our room. Very neutral fall decor. Doesn't look like a whole lot or maybe it does to you depending on how minimal you decorate. But these were things that were kind of just leftovers 
from the kitchen or living room that I decided to bring in. And I personally like to see the individual items that people decorate with because it makes it a little more tangible to find in stores. It gives you some different ideas on how to style the pieces. Here's the wall that I have this table on. I also have some really large picture frames that I'm about to change out the pictures. We're getting ready to take fall pictures in a couple of weeks, so I'll change those out after we take those but these are from florida trip this summer so those are really special i always have this blanket ladder in the corner with this blanket it's just a neutral one so i'm going to leave that and i also always have these baskets underneath the table and they're functional and they work really well. When Braylon was a newborn and she was in our room, I would put her wipes and diapers in these. And I think I'm just going to put some blankets in there today though, since I don't keep those in here anymore. Our side tables are the same. I keep them very simple with just a lamp on it. I do have a coaster because I like to have water at night. And then on the other side, same thing. We just have the lamp. Here is the fireplace and I do have this banner. So I leave that up all year round. And then here is this little cozy nook with our chair in it. I also have a little side table and then we have our barn doors leading into the bathroom. I wanted to bring in this beautiful tree. This is from Hobby Lobby this year and oh my goodness this was one of my first purchases if you saw my hobby lobby shop with me i loved the color of this tree i love the leaves i think the veining is beautiful i have this little plant stand i'm going to be using as well i'll put this tree in there to just give it a little bit of elevation i also love bringing in different textures so this basket wall hanger is so pretty this is something that i've had for a long long time and i've just held on to it because i really like the texture that it gives I just have a little hook on the back so it makes it easy to hang on the wall i also have a cozy throw blanket a neutral pillow that i think these are kind of fall inspired colors they're just more darker colors um so you can kind of see the color scheme that i'm going for i like a lot of browns and blacks and a little bit of maroon in there as well. So I have some lighter colored dried floral stems. They're actually like a faux stem, but I like the color of them. I have this little vase that's very aged, an old book. This clock that's kind of speckled and stone looking. I have a candle. It smells so good. This one is called Serenity. A pumpkin I've used for years and years. I have it in multiple different colors. So I thought I would use that in the bedroom. This vase of baby's breath and this brown vase I keep in my room pretty much all year round and I love it. I feel like it'll be good for fall as well. So I'm going to leave that. I also have this book that I picked up at the Found Cottage Market. If you guys wanna watch a full shop with me, I'll link that video. But I thought this picture on this book was so pretty. It also has a little note about fall in it. Let me show you. It has a sweet little note. It looks like it was a birthday gift. It's a poem. I don't know if this is a common poem or if somebody just typed this, but it's Fathers of Thanksgiving. I thought that was a really sweet little touch, so I just left that in there. And yeah, I just think it's so cute for fall. And then I also have some candles and a little black tray, some more florals that have a little bit of maroon and green and just different fall colors. Two different throw blankets. This one's really, really cozy. And this one I've had for a long time and I like this rust color that's on there. So I'll use that. Then I have some gold candlesticks, this paper mache pumpkin, a couple of pottery pieces. You guys know I love pottery and I used a ton in my kitchen. I decided to pull these out and use them in the bedroom. And then I have some dried gourds. I love these, it's one of my favorite things to decorate with during the fall season. And then just like our tree over there, I also have the stems of the same leaf. And the last thing I have are these wreaths I've had for a long time and I just love the color of them. I feel like they look very aged and very realistic. So love this. I'm planning on putting those on our barn doors. about 
place my candlesticks into the holders, but they are a little too small and they tend to kind of wobble around and not stand straight up. A trick that I like to do is at Hobby Lobby, they have these little foam pieces where you can set them in the candlestick and then place your candlestick on top and it'll kind of create a cushion and keep your candle in place. Place it on top and then I'll just push the candlestick down and you can't even see the little foam piece but this candlestick is now straight up and I can manage it a lot easier. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and decorating our master bedroom today. It was a lot of fun. It feels so cozy here. Very excited for cozy nights by the fire. And I also love having our chair in the corner by the window. That's where I like to do my reading in the morning. So thank you for spending some time with me today and I'll see you all soon in my next one. Bye friends. <laughs>